Christina, good morning. How are you holding up there? Good morning. I'm, I'm holding, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm very familiar with Slack. I use it every day as a writer. But for somebody who hasn't used it before, how would you describe it? So I describe Slack as a channel-based messaging app that offers a better way to work together by replacing email inside your company. So it's a tool that sort of brings your messages, your people, your files, your tools all in one place so that you can stay connected no matter where you are. Now, that is quite a work-from-home tool right there. Uh, what are some tips that you can offer up to people who are trying to learn how to work from home these days? Yeah, so I have a, I have a, few, a few top tips here. So I think, you know, the first one is to take the time to establish a routine. So I think this is really important so that you can sort of maintain that work-life balance. But, you know, little things like get dressed like you would for the office or, you know, try to find a dedicated work area within your home that can sort of help you feel like there's a little bit of separation between work and home. Um, and I think, you know, taking little breaks throughout the day, making sure that you have a set time to start and end the work portion of your day. Again, I think it's going to be important for people to sort of maintain those boundaries. I think the second tip is about, you know, video conferencing is a great tool to allow that face-to-face -face interaction to happen when you're not physically in the same space. And so, you know, there's lots of great video conferencing tools out there. There's Zoom. We have Slack calls. Um, I think, you know, that is such a great way to sort of maintain that connection to people and that face-to-face -face connection is really, is really hard to replace. Um, and then I think finally, you know, one, another, another tip is just over communicate. Like over communication is so key when you're remote because you don't have those, you know, opportunities to run into people in the hallway or to have, you know, that sort of coffee, you know, coffee time together. And so I think ensuring that you know what your priorities are. You know, Slack is a great, you know, example of, of how that can happen really easily in channel, and it can be sort of like that single place for people to keep up with what's happening on projects or topics. Um, but I think another, you know, another thing about over-communicating is, you know, helping people understand where you are and what you're doing. And so when you're in an office with somebody, it's easy to see that they're in a meeting or easy to see that they're on the phone or working on something. But when you're remote, you have no idea what your colleague, you know, is doing in their home. And so, you know, on Slack, you can update your status to say that you're, you know, taking a lunch break or in a meeting or working on a project. And being able to have those signals about what your colleagues are working on or doing at the moment is, is really helpful. So, you know, over-communicating, I think, is, is now more important than ever. Those are definitely some great tips. What about staying motivated? Any tips that you can provide on that end? Yeah, so that, that's a great question, and this is something that I personally think about a lot. The way that I think about it is that this is going to be a marathon. It's not a sprint. And so really practicing and prioritizing taking care of yourself and looking out for others. You know, I make a, a point to check in with my team every day, ask them each individually, how are you doing? What are your challenges? How are you feeling? Honestly, I think that that really helps people feel much more motivated when, when it feels like somebody cares about them. Um, you know, I already mentioned the part about having like a, a physical workspace that's conducive to, to productivity and to getting work done. But I think also really taking the time to create that virtual workspace that can support productivity and collaboration. Um, you know, we're going to be in this situation for a while. And I think, you know, there's a lot of, you know, stress and additional, you know, anxiety. And so, more than ever, being able to lean on your team, you know, helping everyone realize that we're all in this together. We can all support one another no matter what their individual needs are. I think that's what's going to keep people motivated for the long haul. Well, two quick questions, and then I'm going to ask where people can get more information. And the first one is you personally, with all these tips and all the motivation that you have going on while you're holding the fort down there at Slack, what is it? that's keeping you sane in terms of entertainment. Any recommendations? In terms of entertainment, I've got three little kids at home, so they are 
my <laughs> number one source of entertainment. There's nothing more entertaining than when they, you know, randomly join me in a meeting with my colleagues. So that's one thing. Um, you know, I, I will admit that I like to watch, you know, This Is Us on TV every once in a while to sort of, you know, stay entertained and stay sane. Um, but I think I would mainly say that it's the kids that keep me entertained every day. And related to that, my closing question is, any last words for the kids? Last words for the kids? Let mommy work, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. no, I think, you know, the kids, it's, it's been one of the best things about this is, is the extra time with the kids. And, you know, they have no idea what's going on. So I feel like that's part of, part of my job, too, is, like, to help them feel you know, help them feel safe and loved. And um, that to me is like the, the number one priority in my life. And so, um, mm-hmm. you know, I, I definitely think that that's important. Great. So where should everybody go to get more information? So slack.com slash remote is the best place to go to get tips and tricks and best practices for how to manage through this. Great. Well, thanks to you and Slack for all the great work you're doing out there and looking forward to seeing what's coming next from Slack. Thank you. Outrocast.